That was the Submitting Bill, Senate Bill 1381, which is known as the Kindergarten Readiness Act of 2010. So what it does is it creates a transitional kindergarten, a TK, the first year of the two-year kindergarten experience for those students who were born between September and December. So it's taking the youngest group of children who are currently eligible for kindergarten in California and creating a separate program for them and calling it transitional kindergarten. In other states, they have similar programs, but they call them voluntary pre-K. It's for four-year-olds, okay. So SB 1381 changes the kindergarten entry date from December 1 to September 1, so children enter kindergarten at age five. Okay, so it will phase in over the next several years by moving the cutoff date one month a year for three years beginning in fall 2012. So, and I think somebody I talked to in the district here said they're, they're, they're fully, implementing, fully implementing fall of 2012. Why wait? If you're a small district, it just doesn't make any sense, you know, to take children who were born in November and create a whole separate program. So, districts are responding to this in different ways. This is from Preschool California. Again, visually, it just helps you, it just helps to represent what's happening in the state of California. Um, so if you take all of the children who are five, who would have been eligible for kindergarten, you pull out those four-year-olds, the 25% that were born in those months, um, September, October, November, September, October, November, then they will go into a transitional kindergarten. So 25% of our children who would be four, who in other states might be attending a pre-K program, are in this thing we're calling transitional kindergarten with the expectation then that they would go into traditional kindergarten that second year, okay? So the goal is to provide the youngest kindergartners with a readiness year that is developmentally appropriate and will better prepare them for success once they enter traditional kindergarten. So not placing inappropriate demands through inappropriate curriculum on children who are very young and developmentally have different needs. Clearly the curriculum needs to be transformed. So it requires a developmentally appropriate curriculum that is aligned with case standards taught by credential teachers. This is where California is a little different than other states because very few states require credential teachers to teach in their four-year-old programs. And, and because TK is um, funded by the State Department of Education. These children generate ADA at the same level as kindergartners, and they must be taught by credential teachers. All of this is, I mean, I may mean, not, you know, because I work across different states. This is huge. This is really huge. It's, and it's advancing us toward equity for this little group of four-year-olds. The legislation does not say anything, though, about what type of training and preparation those credential teachers must have. And Loyola Marymount is stepping into that void to, because if it's not traditional kindergarten, if it's transitional kindergarten and it requires developmentally appropriate, that's a different <coughs> curriculum than the way many, many traditional kindergarten teachers were, were prepared. And I've just put some resources that you all can, can look up at, you know, there, there are multiple resources and videotapes and whatnot on the website that you can look up to the Kindergarten Association, the California County Superintendent's Educational Services Association, and Preschool California. They all have excellent, excellent websites that can 